poncho. Loads of people have been asking me, completely out of context with uh, the subject of recent videos, what's the job like? Warehouse work. Calm down. Right, the important subject today is you, the amazing UK van life community. Um, that does not include the people who don't live in a van don't want to live in a van <laughs> don't comment don't uh, <laughs> the tards the trolls You get the idea. There's some nice people out there, and that they will be featured today. So, for the past 20 years, I've been living a very successful middle class life. I had flash motors, I'd go all over the country building websites for businesses big and small. Then, in my spare time over the winter, I'd go snowboarding or check out some tropical paradises. That was great. Maybe read a textbook or two, what was coming next. I got into motorcycling around Asia. That was brilliant. And then when I'd come back in the spring, uh, my car would be there. And I'd just rent that room in a commuter belt near London for 500 a month. Everything was hunky-dory until... I know the damage that this disruption is doing and will do to people's lives, to their businesses and to their jobs. Well, after the uh, prevent the spread, flatten the curve, save the NHS nonsense continued, I thought, right, I can't be paying rent and not earning money. So I just uh, got the cheapest van I could find that was nearby. It was a dog. It looked like a dog, it stunk like a dog, it was used to transport dangerous dogs. It was it was a dog, the worst van ever. But looked around it, it was cheap, haggled it down, thought yes, yeah, a fixer upper. And it is not actually as shit as it looks. Yeah, that's my life for a few months now. So at the time, I believed the government narrative that yeah, it was just a short-term problem and perhaps they could fix it over three months. I mean, I had roughly six months' money left. I knocked up <laughs> something quite livable, was ruthlessly sorted out all the crap that I'd accumulated in that room. What a load of unnecessary crap. What a van of shite. And just like that. I was on the road. I knew nothing about van life or the van life community. I mean, I'd seen a few Brett's videos and uh, really I wasn't interested in the subject at all. And as you can see, I knew nothing about it. But there I was, out there on the open road, having no idea of this amazing thing called the van life community. And then I learned how to overcome every obstacle one by one. How to find water. How to find nice places to park. How I can bathe myself while on the road. How to feed myself. Mm. And how to rebuild the interior of the van with next to nothing to make it more livable and cool in the summer. Yeah. 
so life was good. I had plenty of savings. I had a van. I thought, you know what? While the government sorts out this pandemic, why don't I just tour the UK and find out how you can live in a van for next to nothing and even show people how that's possible if they haven't got much of a budget. But then something didn't sit right with me. It didn't add up. It felt like a narrative was being forced, that fear was being cynically manipulated. Now that 14 more people across Britain have died after testing positive for coronavirus, it brings the total number of deaths here in the UK so far to 35. So, only a very small amount of digging. I looked into the backstories of what was being reported and I smelled a big rat. How do they um, misuse PCR to estimate uh, all these so supposed free viral RNAs? And with PCR, if you do it well, you can find almost anything in anybody. So it, it didn't take much research to blow the whole scam wide open. What was shocking about it was the scale of it, of every institution corrupted in a conspiracy. Anyway, be that as it may, I was stuck in a van, my entire business sector was destroyed, I had to continue. I could only drive over the mountain passes and country lanes of Wales because, like Ireland, the police were begging along the A-roads at multiple positions. Nobody was watching my channel, just a few of the OGs, <laughs> the sheep that saw me passing by. <sighs> that was until... I was watching... Uh, bit of YouTube on my phone. I uh, just wanted to give a shout out to one channel in particular. I think this piece is hilarious. I, I don't know if he's intentionally meant to be funny, but I find him freaking well funny. Um, it's called Socks with Sandals. Like right, Socks with Sandals. <laughs> so he's going around uh, Wales at the moment, and uh, I think he's. I think he's bloody hilarious. And I like the way he actually does his filming and that and edits all his videos because that's quite good. Um, yeah, cheers. As well, and I think he's pretty entertaining. So uh, check him out. That's my plug over. Hundreds of subscribers poured in overnight. First to help out with the mission was Jackie. Got a fridge. Thank you, Jackie. And then I rescued a couple of likely lads stranded up Bliny come as night fell. <laughs> so dead. Alright, so directions established. Boys getting back in. Brilliant. <laughs> Just completed the journey. Can't fucking thank you enough for listening. Fucking absolutely brilliant. Literally fucking spot on that is, bro. I gradually became aware of the UK van life scene, hanging out in the most beautiful places in Britain. First up were Mark and Sue. No. Cheers. Uh, cheers, Sue. Cheers. Thank you very much. It's lovely to meet you, Tim. What a great and Lovely to meet you, Mark yeah. and Sue. What a great philosopher you are. <laughs> man of the world. Man of nature. Tough on. Hi, guys. This is it. This is nature. This is pure nature. It's primordial. Next up was Staycation Britannia. That's Monica from Holland and Erin from Porth Maddock. They gave me a cup of tea, Battenberg cake and a tin of rice pudding. Dear Rock, I win. Love paper. I was really enjoying the mix of serenity and solitude in nature, mixed with some hyper social occasions where other people would be the star of the show. And I realized Oh yeah, I'm enjoying this. They want to be on YouTube. Hello, hi. Hi. <laughs> the Surrey, Borth, Seaside. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Enjoy. I had the perfect life, life, life balance of, yeah, doing a bit of editing, enjoying traveling around, meeting people, brilliant. And then, six months in, <sighs> MOT was over and the country wasn't back to normal. 
Well, 10 minutes is already over in that video, and I've only just begun to interact with the UK van life community and the great British public on my travels. So tune in for the next episode, where I'll be discussing how the UK van life community helped me build this incredible multi-purpose all-seasons van, just with leftovers in their garage. Incredible. Wow, oh, that's going to be an episode next. Coming up next. Um, yeah, just point to uh, some of the episodes featured in this episode and subscribe there. I really should practice my outros. 